All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to daily update number 1000 day challenge, day 688. So let's get things started. All right, first and foremost, uh, Balance update, equity balance update wise is still remain the same like what I mentioned. I'm not entering in terms of any long and you know, short trade right now in terms of my main trading account setup. So it is what it is. For experimental trade setup, it's in the midst of final testing itself. And before I do launch in the coming July itself, as you know. All right, beyond that, I would say that what we do have as well as a Sunday itself, we have a red bearish candlestick that dropped into 18,000 region. So we do see some signs of support over there for Bitcoin yesterday on the closing itself. So however, until we see a very strong bullish green candlestick itself, you can see we went all the way down to the 17.6K region itself, and then we have a very decent bounce. So what we do actually do want to see, okay, if you look back then, in terms of the previous one-time high itself, it was actually at around 18.9K region itself. So definitely we did break below this region, technically speaking, but unless we close below it, we would technically still have a potential to have a strong bounce from this particular level. But that's not to say that we cannot have a decent bounce or weak bounce and then have a further drop into this previous level itself, especially from this level to this level. From this, from 19K to the 14K mark, there aren't really much of a volume in terms of supportive level, as you can see. So if we do drop strongly below that, uh, definitely we will very much likely revisit this 14K or more likely towards this 11 to 12K region itself. So that's definitely a potential very strong sell support when we previously rejected once, rejected twice, third time, fourth time before we have a very clean break towards the upside of things. So if we do have a very sharp drop, I do see potential to have a decent bounce over here, but that's one condition that the traditional financial market do bounce nicely as well. So let's see how things go for the week opening itself. It's up to anybody guess. But in any other case, I'm staying out of the market in terms of daily and forward chart. As you can see over here, daily chart, we do potentially, could potentially be forming a very nice supportive candlestick. But bearing in mind, volume is not showing much of a sign of a strength. And price action wise, in terms of the volatility wise, is again not showing as well. So I'm a little bit cautious that we could still potentially see further downside, but if you're talking in terms of buying for long-term hold, I don't think that buying within this region is still a very decent price to get in if you're looking in terms of two to five years down the road. Otherwise, that's more or less about it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop your comments below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.